All right, and welcome back to That's Some Cheese, part of the Vendetta Sports Podcast Network. Today is Monday, August 16th, 2021. Today, we have a new new little setup. I don't know how I feel about it yet, but I guess it's better than the back – or ugh, off to a rough start. The black background. <laughs> so today, we have uh, Anthony Fontanello on the show, and he wasn't the original guest for today, but he's he's a great guest. So, Anthony, how are you? What's going on? Doing good, doing good. You've been you've been antsy about this show all day, oh. so I've been I've been very curious as to what you got. I today. never have notes. <laughs> I never have notes, and I have. And notes. that is that is true. You can look back to previous that some cheese episodes with me. And I say, create my we, own. We, notes. we we always we always talk about how we never have notes. I create my own notes when I need them. I don't need them, but today, yeah, I didn't ask Courtney for notes. So Courtney, uh, this is like your first week as a uh, Trey's assistant. So how has it been? Easy, not too bad. <laughs> That's what I like. That's what I like to hear. <laughs> All right, so I got this list. We're gonna get through it. Half the show is gonna be Fontanello site wide questions, and the other half of the show is gonna be the all day jerk off crew. So we're gonna get through that. <laughs> That's what they do, right? Yo, man! Thanks for you know, thanks for the shout out, bro. That's what they did. <laughs> I, I, I seen I, I seen something pop up on my timeline. I was gonna include in here, but we will we'll get to that when we get to that. Okay. Uh, number one thing on my list here, I had uh, a couple interviews this week. Four four names jotted down on this list here. Uh, the interviews this week were a disaster. I mean a disaster. Uh, we had a girl named Sydney. So, Sydney, if you're watching this, if you want to personally email me how big of a fucking dope you are and say, hey, I watched the episode of Cheese. I apologize for being one of the dumbest humans on the planet. I'll reschedule your interview. I don't understand how hard it is for these kids to be like, well, I didn't know it was the time zone. The first email I sent to Sydney, oh, uh, 6 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Then a second email is sent with the scheduled Zoom link that has Eastern Standard Time Zone. Courtney, Anthony, you can chime in. How hard is it to like not know that I don't live across the street from you Like when you did your interviews? <laughs> I just don't I, – I can't figure it out. I mean, as a, as a college Google. student, you should know that. <laughs> Is this really it, no is, is time like, zones like we don't know these things? Like, right. I think I learned time it zones when I was in like sixth grade. It's it's just crazy to me how there <laughs> there was two different emails that says Easter Standard Time, and especially the scheduled Zoom link. The fucking scheduled Zoom link actually spells it out. It's like impossible to screw it up. But you know, her email back was so sorry. Live on the West Coast. Didn't know. Didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Didn't know. So Sydney, if you're watching this, which I doubt you are, but if you want to email me personally and be like, "Hey, watch cheese," I'm a fucking idiot. I may reconsider. But <laughs> then we had another kid. I remember this guy's last name, James Gion. You stupid fuck. Uh, I scheduled an interview with this kid 4:30. I forget what day it was. Uh, I'm getting ready to interview him, and he's like, "Sorry, was on another interview." Uh, didn't know. So this kid scheduled an interview during the time that I was supposed to interview. He was like, can we reschedule? No. It's it's unbelievable the interviews I had this he, week. Unbelievable. He emailed you that while you while he was supposed to be interviewing with you? Swear to God. Well, that's some shit. I mean, I, I yeah. Sophie's on vacation this week, but I mean, we could edit it in. I will gladly screenshot the kid's email. It's unbelievable. <laughs> That's wow. Had another one. I want to make sure I get this right. So let me go through my email qu real quick. This stupid fuck, Jesse Nunnally. I, I hope I said his name right. Trap addicts track, you piece of shit. So he got his original email on August 4th being like, hey, you've been selected. Let's interview. This guy inter er, responds August 14th. So I don't... I, I mean, off the bat, it's like, hey, buddy, like maybe respond like before the 10 day notice. It's like, fine, whatever. I'll schedule the guy. Let's see what happens. Doesn't show up. 
Yeah, that was a probably big red flag right there. Yeah, yeah. and, and then we response. we had a we had the beauty of them all. This kid named Maximus. Oh, Maximus! Wow. Okay. I mean, Jesus. this guy, the audacity on some of his answers. Max Everett was in the the interview, and he's like, "Oh, so you're interested in streaming? Like, so what do you want to stream?" And this kid's answer was, "Whatever I feel like." Wow. That's- <laughs> The hostility. Oh. oh my god. Yeah. This guy <laughs> was a lunatic. <laughs> well, so we had like... quite the round of interviews this week. I don't know where they make these humans, but all I know is you can create whatever vaccine you want. Corona didn't take out enough of these motherfuckers. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> don't have a vaccine to fix these fucking dopes. That's, that's that's unbelievable. It, it really whatever wow. I feel like. And that's scary. whatever I feel like. <laughs> <laughs> that's scary. For I mean, sure. to, hey, to, to be honest, sounds he sounds perfect. <laughs> Fucking lunatic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, next thing on my list here, and I, there's a bunch of interns leaving, so I know I had to say this today before I take them out of the slack. How delusional do some of these kids have to think? To be like, oh, I deserve to keep my name on the fucking site. Buddy, if you got less than 100 posts, there's not a shot in hell that anybody's keeping their name on the site. I mean, not a shot. So, Fontanello, you can chime in. And I asked you this today. How many posts you did during your internship? Do I feel like 100 posts is outrageous for someone to keep their name on the site? No, no. I did easily about 80 to 100 during my internship. And that's also... um, including my creation of my own podcast during that time as well. So, I mean, which, which is what we got, which, where we got Courtney from. Shout out. <laughs> shout oh, out, that's shout right. You're time. reunited. That's yes. right. Reunited. Do you want to do like a virtual hug? Like, do you want to like blow a kiss? Like, what do you want to do here? It's a, it's a reunion, right? I forgot about I'll that. I'll Courtney vir- virtual hug. <laughs> <laughs> speaking of hugs, speaking of hugs, I, this is quite the transition, but like, Fontanella, you're gonna owe me a lot of hugs. Come Vegas. Yeah, 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 yeah I know. Well, um, I might as well get into that we, now because we it's have, we have a- speaking yeah, of hugs, uh, I don't know why people continue to doubt Trey's brain. I'm not good at a lot of things, but when it comes to this sports thing, I'm usually on the money all the time. It's like playing Russian roulette, except there's 99 gu- fucking bullets in the chamber. I try to tell you about Zach Wheeler. Anthony Fontanello. I okay, tried. Wheeler, I really tried. Jack Wheeler's I good, really tried. Oh, okay, we're still we're still gonna argue this stuff. I really okay. tried. I need well, a bigger sample all, size than one than one season. Well, he was awesome last year. It's the Mets. The Mets were the problem. Don't blame well, the Mets. Well, I I mean, listen, I'll blame I'll blame the Mets all day, every day. Well, I don't know if we're allowed to use those words anymore, Fontanello. I don't know if we're allowed to use those words anymore. Excuse me. Excuse me. Let me rephrase. I'm playing the Mets 25. Oh, I love this. I love this company. I love this show. I just want to point out, Trey did a lot of research with this Zach Wheeler post. Trey, Trey called this. The Mets were the problem. Wilson Ramos was the problem. Their pitching coach was the problem. His pitch sequence was the problem. I did a lot of research into this thing. Hey, you know what? I mean, he's good, sure. No! He's fucking he, awesome. Yes, he's 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 good. I think I, he's going to win the Cy Young. Let's see. National League. Uh, you can't give it to DeGrom. Yeah. He hasn't pitched in like two months. No, DeGrom, DeGrom might not even pitch again this season. So That's what I'm saying. You can't give it yeah, to him. He, if he, he, doesn't even, he doesn't even qualify for ERA. He hasn't pitched nearly. Wheeler's going to win it. Wheeler probably will win, and believe me, we're going to be talking about that's going to be like my number one thing I'm going to talk about with Adam uh, on Empire's Finest when when, when that happens. I'm just I, I don't even care about the money. I want my hug. No, listen, I'll give you a <laughs> hug. That's fine, but but the I'm just saying the original bet was the combo. I know, Nola but here's Nola, the problem: Nola's Corey Kluber hasn't every- pitched in like three years. So how last do- time, last time we last time we saw him, he pitched a no hitter. So 
I know, but the guy hasn't pitched in like three months. Like, what know, are we supposed to do with kinda, that? It was kind of like an un, it. It, it kind of just sucked the fact that he he ended up going down for. We can't. Months, so. I mean, what are we supposed to do with Kluber? I mean, I know I, he he kind of just the outlier here. So all, all we're going on is Cole and Nolan Wheeler and Cole. I, I Cole's been up and down all year long. So it's either been like a twelve strikeout one run game, or and he is like not going to win the Cy Young. He will not win the Cy no. Young. No, no, he will not. He will not. So sure, I, I'll give you a hug on that. But as long as the Yankees win the World Series, I won't even mind. I, I won't care. Oh, just stop it. Just stop I don't. It. I watch. I've been watching like a little bit of baseball, but it's only been the White Sox game. Just a little bit. And I don't know. White Sox are pretty good. The Yankees just baseball. took two out of the Yankees just took two out of three. Please. You do oh. not watch baseball, Courtney. <laughs> I don't, but that's the only team I've been watching. That's it. That's it. Well, well, I I I guess if I guess if you're gonna watch baseball, that's fine. I'll I'll, I'll allow it. You could be a you could be a White Sox fan. That's okay. I don't have no animosity towards them. Next thing on my list. Uh the streaming. Are you a fan of the streaming? Do you think it's acceptable? that our video editors continue to not get stream highlights done? Do you think it's acceptable that not enough people tune into the views or do you like, Hey, like maybe our streamers aren't interesting that you don't blame them. Just give me your overall thoughts on the streaming stuff. I like, I like the streaming stuff. Uh, what was it last Wednesday after, uh, me, you and Adam did empire's finest. I was, I was tuned in. I was tuned in on the stream. Uh, whenever I see the stream going on, I tune in and I will let you, I will say this right now. Uh, I know for most people that we got to pull teeth to watch the stream and it's probably Mm -hmm. just because they don't care. But for me, like literally it's only because I actually don't know when they're going on. Like I have no idea until I see that's part of the problem. I tried to tell these fucks. For weeks, yeah. create a schedule. Create a schedule. Create a that's, schedule. That's create the, a that's schedule. Because I have no idea. They don't until do I it. See someone say something in general. That it's I'm a like, zoo oh, around okay, these the streaming yards. Not the show. Yeah. That's it's a zoo. <laughs> Get it figured out, guys. Create a schedule. There's only two things that, that, would, that schedule. Would help. Only two. Yeah. And then that way we can put a schedule on our Twitch. So organization. Like, yeah. Something Trey is very good at. Trey's a very good organizer. I will, I will admit that. <laughs> uh, yeah. How many fucking video editors do we have to hire before it gets to the point where like the streaming highlights get done? That I would love. Okay, to know. those those need to get done. I mean, I I don't like that's when, when I go on Twitter and I'm scrolling through my timeline. I'd say about ninety percent of video game stream related stuff that I see is highlights. And I, mm-hmm. I think I've seen one. I've seen, I've seen like one or two when Kane and Jackson mm-hmm. were playing Splitgate like two weeks ago. Because Sophie did only- it, and she has enough yeah. to do. Exactly. Those are like the only two that I've seen. Oh, I have a Sophie topic on here for later. Okay. okay. <laughs> uh, Survivor happened this week. What a piss yes, poor effort by the writers. I mean, my God, four posts on a Sunday. Yeah, do that, that with bad. piping on my toes. That was the quite like the most quiet I've seen Slack, honestly. I could do four posts with my toes. <laughs> Yikes. Four posts. I could have did that shit drunk. You have. <laughs> <laughs> I have. <laughs> I have. <laughs> you are correct. I've done ten drunk. You are correct. <laughs> wow. Nick Apria, gone. What Any thoughts? Is, is he? Is he? I alive? remember him too. Yeah, yeah. My thought after watching. I don't know if he's alive. Play. I don't know because That's a great question. Yeah, because I, I, I was watching Survivor. And I was like, every time you, everyone kept saying Nick Capri, I'm like, what happened to that kid? I, I he just dropped off knew. the face of the earth. I wish I knew. This isn't a Survivor topic but like i'm starting to lose my hair i shaved it all again how do we like just the beard and the shaved head the beard and the shaved head is a good combo you so we like it you're looking yes you're looking like uh you're looking like a very young uh jason state i haven't quite figured out like you know how to like fade it but i don't know it's a work in progress so 
Look at Wait, turn your head again. I gotta Wait, take this off it? Through it. What this? Well, yeah. it was. This is like two days, but like it was. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I say just shave it completely. You might. Well, oh, I mean, it was. Go, I, don't, go, I don't feel like shaving it every day though. Like just go, just go straight from from shave to to beard. Not even, not even fade it in. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Yeah. How how like should we go like to this with the beard? That's fine. That's what I is it too much? normally keep. That's what I yeah, would do. So it can like. Fine. So we like this combo. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Great combo. <laughs> do you have any other uh, survivor thoughts on the episode? Uh, yes. Bryce Gelman. I, like, I, like I figured you had a comment like... for him. Oh well, him. Yeah. Uh. You know what? I mean, like, I, I, I don't know what the hell he's doing. He's not coming on our show, by the way. Like, Adam. really? So permanent? Nah. Yeah, Tonto. no, no. Adam was very mad about that. And I don't I blame even, him. Like, I don't blame I'm him. not in, and I'm also not in like any, any hurry to get him back on the get get him on the show. So don't blame you. Yeah. So. His uh, his days are numbered. Trey's more of a New York guy that than that kid could ever be. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's it's crazy. <laughs> you've been on, you've been on the show more than any of the New York guys. Although I've been I to Yankee didn't... Stadium quite a bit. I've probably been to Yankee Stadium like maybe ten times, maybe a little ten bit. Ten times, less. probably. Jeez. I I haven't been to Fenway yet, which I would I definitely want to want to go to Fenway. You haven't been to Fenway? That are like hurts no. my soul. No. Oh I've my actually God. We, gotta, we gotta schedule we gotta schedule yeah. a trip. I've only been to Boston like three times, maybe. We gotta schedule a trip. We'll get you a lobster roll. We get you some oysters. Oh, I no I, We're not gonna start some, this discussion again. Get me some New England clam chowder too, please. I I, I that, that, I'm not even a soup day. guy. I'm not a soup guy. I will eat it there. That's I, how good I it love is. love New England clam chowder. Love it. But my other survivor note. Uh, I haven't been to Boston since the 2018 parade. Oh wow, three years. Yeah. I showed. Yeah. We showed up like we showed up like four hours early. We we're right next to the stadium. We were like first in line. Fucking saw all their faces like real close. It was awesome. Dope, dope, dope. I, yeah, I haven't been. I haven't been to Boston in so long. My dad goes there a lot. He does his uh he's he's got like some Italian club he's part of and they uh yeah they take over the take over the streets. My dad's Fontanello. <laughs> speaking of, speaking of Italian, speaking of Italians, how do you like uh, how do you like Gallo and Rizzo? That's well, not a topic Rizzo. that's on the list. That's actually not a topic that made the list. Really? <laughs> not a topic that made the list. We gotta keep it moving. All right, keep it moving then. But uh, <laughs> let me let me give my other survivor topic. It, it, okay, it, it, okay. I will wait for later on in the season. Uh, yes, it is confirmed. Me, 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 and Garrett are cool now. We cool. Do you want to explain what happened? Yeah. So, all goes back to Empire's finest. I made my announcement. Said that all I would have wanted was for Garrett to just message me before going on Survivor and. Voted, voting for me, grabbing me off of, I wasn't even on the list, grabbing me off the list, bringing me on uh, just mm -hmm. to vote for me. Mm -hmm. uh, he ended up messaging me after my after my announcement and talked it out. Oh, good. That's all you I actually did have another survivor topic, though. You mentioned it today in the Slack. What did I say in the Slack? Big what? Unk. When I was talking, oh, 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 oh big, 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 <laughs> big unk, big unk. This man, Trey, has been, like, hiding, hiding it, hiding it for mad long. This is the first time I've seen you win a tank top and just, like, I mean, you look like you're ready to take on John Jones right now. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what's funny, too? I actually flexed in the video and Hunter cut it from the video. No. Yeah. He said, "That's a no." <laughs> he cut it from the video. <laughs> my, my, my flex did not make the the edit. He cut it. That hurts. It doesn't hurt. It's that, my company. I can flex if I want, but I'm not gonna do it because I'm not an attention whore. 
but I did that, flex in the video. Why, that's why you wear sure? extra large shirts all the time. I am. My freaking nips are popping through. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I I just I don't know. I just wanted to point it out. I, if it, it makes me yeah. feel good. Yeah, no, I gotta, I gotta get that. I gotta get that Trey Daubert worked out diet plan. I got you. And I will go more than once a week, and it will work. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, I love this episode already. Uh, what else we got here? Oh, we got a blogging font. It's coming. That's right. I was talking. Yeah. I was talking to Jackson today. I'm telling him uh, we can look for that either this this week or late late next week and then after after i get through training with my new job when i like actually get my schedule and get my like uh shifts in i'm gonna be blogging on a regular basis uh this one's more of a question for uh courtney here so eric reynolds he blamed you for not getting the fantasy show up so i just want to like make that to your knowledge courtney that Eric Reynolds blamed you for him not getting the fantasy show up. Well, um, he took a minute with the with the whole thing, and I literally like gave it to him in a platter. I'm like, here's the timestamps for you, so to make it easier for you, because it's kind of last minute. This is what you like. This is where this topic sat, and this is where this topic sat. So, like, this is. Pretty much, like I say, I just gave it to him easily. So he didn't even have to go look because he was like, oh, like I'm still looking for um, like looking for what I want to put in the video. I'm like, I just gave it to you. So like, why is it taking so long? But I just hope you know that you're under like the Emma Brown rule, which is pretty much if somebody blames you for something i automatically blame the other person yeah they, <laughs> okay. i could tell you right now definitely wasn't courtney's <laughs> fault that that didn't get out <laughs> no like uh, right uh, now. like uh who is it one of the new interns said uh emma brown didn't didn't do something or whatever and i fucking blame that kid and then emma brown was <laughs> like it was actually my fault it's like well i'm gonna blame the other kid i don't care <laughs> so I, I i hope you know courtney that you're under that policy Okay, I appreciate that, but I'll still I'll still be on top of stuff. <laughs> so, uh, I haven't actually said this on the show, but the website's getting a redesign. Have you seen it, Fontanelle? Uh, did it? It didn't go live yet, right? Or did it? <clears throat> You're on the site. What do you, What do you mean? Do, 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 do you, don't you think it would, you would have noticed the changes? Yeah, no, because I because I know uh, I've seen I've seen the um, the redesign that. Yeah, I see. I saw the redesign. I was just asking if it like went live today or something. Well, somebody has. That's why you're bringing it up today. No, I, no, I, I just want to know if you. Today. I, I want to know if you saw it. No, no. Oh yes, I have. I've I've seen what it's going to look like. What are your thoughts? It's immaculate. I, I I love it. It like looks so much more like appealing to the eye. Not saying okay. that what not not saying that the current format is Trey did that the better. current version by himself though. Yeah, see, no, that's that that that's impressive. That is impressive. Yeah. I will give you that because I would never like I took a like a web design class and there was no way in hell I would have designed the I was I would have even come close to what you did. Big brain. Yeah. No, so, but what Scarlet did looks way better. That'll probably yeah, be I done love it. I by the time love it. uh after I get back from Vegas, that'll probably be done around then. I just haven't mentioned it on the show yet, so I figure so I probably should do that. Go live, definitely go live before Thanksgiving. Yes, mm-hmm. yes, sweet, sweet. Speaking of uh, Vegas, are you coming? Do you have like content ideas that you want to do? How eager are you to see me without a shirt on at the pool decks? Like, what are your overall thoughts? Okay, so. With this new job that I now have. Uh, Whoa, well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Why don't you get a new job? I did get a new job, actually. No, 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 no. Why you're don't I get understand. another new job? Why don't I you're get not another understand. new job? You're not understanding what I'm saying. 
No, his last job was working him. Well, you're not understanding what I'm saying. Missing persons report. Well, why don't you just get a new job? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Why oh. don't I just get a new job? <laughs> Do you want to? Do you want to? Do you want to go into that right now? Well, or do you want to? Hold on? We're get we're we're getting there. It's it's the second half okay. of the sheet. Okay. Okay. But uh, I never have. All right, all right. Let me let me get. And off. I make my own notes. Let me get it off. Let me get off that for a second. Um. So actually, actually, with with the new with the job that I just got mm. on Friday, uh, I was told that I I can't like go anywhere for the first two months. So September October, I'm locked down on it. So you can't come. I cannot come. I can come. We 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 can do it again next year, and I can come. <laughs> oh, but... oh, great! Let me just drop thousands of dollars so we can go do it again. Well, no, I mean, I'll. I mean, around. I mean, now that I actually have a decent job, like you know, I'm gonna pay for my own shit. And, well, part like, of it is, I, you know, I'm trying to do right by you guys for doing work for the. No, site. believe me, believe me, I I know and I appreciate it. It's just the new. The new job, I my training is going is like, kind of running into October. They like they literally told me you can't go anywhere. Like you got to make sure that you're not taking like a long break. But you don't need to take a break. Wait, when? Okay, I might be digging too deep. But did you get hired? Like, when does training start? Training starts August twenty third, and that yeah, is going fine. that is going that is going to run until the end of September. But then they told me that October, I can't go anywhere either. Like, if I wanted to go away in November, I could. But they said October, mm -hmm. you definitely Yeah, but are you working from home, right? I am working from home. That's fine. I mean, the only thing is it's like it's, a, it's an eight-hour shift, and I have to, I'm, I'm going to have to be, like, on Zoom. I mean, listen. That's okay. No, I mean, I'll tell, I'll tell you right now. Like, I'll have you I right next to me. I'll be like, hey. Yeah. How's it going? <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, we'll, uh, because like I don't want to say we'll see, and then I actually can't go because I feel terrible if you bought if you buy me a plane ticket and I can't go. So like I don't. I only really bought know. one personal plane ticket, and we know how that went. Okay. Yeah. So Speaking they, of which, have I told you my idea, or have you heard my idea? For what? The, the plane ticket. No, I didn't hear that. No, 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 no. So no. I'm thinking. I'll probably try to get the refund, but I'm thinking I got to like show up early so that the seat's empty and then take a picture and be like me and producer Alex go to Vegas. <laughs> you did. Yeah. Didn't you say the last show? Yeah, but I just wanted to see if Fontanella heard me. Gotcha. I didn't hear that one. I'm thinking I, also I like when, when I go, when I go to Top Golf, got to find some guy with long hair and be like, Hey man, me and floppy hair. Me and <laughs> Just somebody with long hair. Just take a picture. It'll be I'm fantastic. Sure it'll be, I'm sure it'll be really easy to find. <laughs> what were we talking about? Oh, you can't come. Probably not. But like, yeah, because I don't want to tell you I'll we'll see and then like I don't like and then like I can't go. Probably like like So when am I getting I'm my hug? When am I getting my hug? Oh, when you come well when you come to dinner, when I have you and Adam come come to dinner with me. Yeah, we're gonna go to. Yeah. Uh, you want Italian? Nah. Or do, or do you want steakhouse? Huh. Please, no hot dogs. Uh, first of all, I only <laughs> eat like one type of hot dog. Yeah. <laughs> it's only it's only Yakos in this area. That's it. Now, otherwise, I don't eat hot dogs. Is in New York like known for their hot dogs too? That is, that's yeah. that's just that's just Coney Island. Oh. I, I Those hot dogs are not good. I ain't going to Coney Island. I'm not eating a Nathan's hot dog. Get out of here. I can't. I Nathan's can't eat Nathan's smack. hot dogs. They, they Although, do, but all I think about is Joey Chestnut shoveling 87 of them in his mouth. Like, one time when I went scared. to Coney <laughs> Island, I got the uh, the frog legs. Ew. You got frog legs in Coney Island? At the, at, in the south? At, at, at the Nathan's. They had frog at legs at, at, at the Nathan's there? Because there's, there's a Nathan's by me. There's a Nathan's by me in York Yonkers. Guy. Trey's no, no, a New listen. York guy. I'm a There's New York. There's a Nathan's in Vegas too. But I'm most. But I'm mostly. But I'm mostly a Yonkers kid. And Yonkers kids don't. We don't. We don't travel. We don't travel to the city because we hate the city. Frog Unless legs is a special occasion. Ate How was it? How was it? Decent. Tasted kind of like chicken. Everything mm. tastes like chicken. Right. Everything. That's what like every like. That's not true. Mm. 
Calamari does not taste like chicken. Okay, well that, that, ever that, that no. You ever had uh you ever had gator? You ever had gator? No, but I really want to. Gator is awesome. I had gator in Florida. Love it. Love gator. You're like kind of like a Florida guy, aren't you? Oh yeah, I'm like I'm I'm, I'm half Floridian at this point. <laughs> I could see you being like 90 in one of those Florida re- retirement homes. Just Retirement, cursing. Yes. Fucking Absolutely. Yankees did it again. <laughs> I'll be going. Uh, I'll be. I'll be going. I'll, I'll be going to to the trot because they'll never get out of that stadium, and I'll just be in there with the ceiling falling down and the catwalks falling down. Like, These goddamn Yankees, not again. <laughs> A couple last things, and then we'll move to the bottom half of the list. How do we feel about the Q and A? Is it working? Should I cut it? Do we like it? What do we think? Uh, I think we should prop keep maybe it. Maybe make, yeah, just maybe make some improvements. Like the, I feel like we should. You should get. You should like gather all the questions, or at least know who's going to be asking you questions before we go. Before you like you go live. That defeats the purpose. I. Okay, but- I guess it kind of does. But you, I mean, okay, I get what Anthony's saying. Like, you can gather some questions, like, before. Because, like, cause, like, sometimes people won't, like, you know, come in, like, right away. So then Got you're it. like, oh, ask so me then some at least questions. You have, at least you have some yeah. stuff to to talk about before, you know. Then, Got it. Then you go okay. in the chat, and then the questions are there. So then Got it. you can sit on those. Yep. Okay. All right. Yeah, and then, like, your viewers can kind of, like, piggyback off that for a minute. And then... That kind of gets the conversation going. That's a great like, idea, Anthony. Like, thank it. you, Courtney. This Toast time connection one hundred and one alley oop. Mm-hmm. Boom, they, they, pretty much. <laughs> two thirds, two thirds of the toast time crew. It's it's like we're like we're like the heat big three. Yep, well, pretty much. <laughs> I, I don't I don't know if there's a redhead that factors into any big three, but. <laughs> <laughs> Be like no, LeBron, man. Wade, Scalabrini. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yikes. All right. Two last quick things. Uh, there was a bet on the site. Uh, Craig's Corner had faith in the NBA team. Trade did not. Uh, they had until Tuesday to get NBA shorts done. Did not happen. Then we doubled it down. So uh, that did not happen. So sixty free dollars to whoever has the top viewed blog. Because no NBA shorts got done. Thought that was unfortunate. That's very unfortunate. I mean, Craig's Corner. Anybody on the shot on the site for like? Yeah, Craig's Corner offered money for them to get done, and they didn't get done. That's crazy. It's actually wild. (laughs) Yeah, sixty free dollars to do a five minute video. Nobody did it. That's that. (laughs) That's insane. Yeah. Shows how fucking lazy, incompetent, fucking, I ran out of words. How fucking worthless our NBA team is. That's, just, that's, that's, that's unreal. That's mm-hmm. unreal. Our NBA team stinks. I mean, stinks. Our WNBA coverage may as well be better because Courtney <laughs> blogs once every fucking four months about the WNBA. Hey. That is true. <laughs> that is, that is true. <laughs> I was like, last thing. Damn. I actually finally counted. Mm-hmm. What's the? What do you think the over under is for number of deactivated Slack accounts? Now it goes up, like you know, every week. But just take a guess. It's fun. Like total. Oh yeah. Oh, no. since like we started. Yep. Um, I think I have like a general idea. Just I'm gonna go guess. with. Uh, I'm gonna go with seventy. Courtney, what's your guess? Um, I'm gonna say like a hundred. You're both way low. Hundred and fifty-two. Oh, really? Way low. Damn. Oh my god. <laughs> I was gonna say one twenty-two. I'm like, no, nah, that's one fifty-two. Now, Holy I, cow. my idea is when we get the office, we're like in there. I want to have a Viking funeral. Down like a fucking lake where we put a picture up on a little boat and we set it on fire for all the people that didn't make it. 
who's making all idea. those boats? <laughs> oh, is, is, is it just one boat? <laughs> we'll, ha- we'll have to hire an intern for that. Their, their main <laughs> responsibility will be create the boats that get lit on fire for the Viking funeral for the people that they make. <laughs> we got we to gotta find a carpenter <laughs> intern. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot. Of right, who's a who's a carpenter? <laughs> That's a lot of boats. That's a lot of boats. Yeah, Gavin also wants to have an NHL show. I just don't want to commit myself to it if the people aren't going to do it. I don't know. Understandable. I mean, you do, you do, you do enough. Although, although you are hockey guy Trey, so I know hockey guys Trey's a legend. So, First yeah. year diving into hockey fantasy champs. Yep, I mean, hockey yeah. guy Trey's got to, you know, you you you. If that happens, you'll at least be on it somewhat. But I don't want you. I don't want you doing like a lot of it. <laughs> you know how those things go. Yeah. Yeah. All right, now I got the second half of the second half of the list. That starts with the biggest win of all this week. The biggest win of all this week, and I want your thoughts on this, Anthony. <laughs> First of all, would you call Trey a liar? Would you call Trey uh, someone who tells the truth? Would you call Trey, I don't know, authentic, inauthentic? How would you describe Trey? Because my personal belief of myself is I tell it how it is, whether you like it or whether you don't like it. That is uh, pretty damn accurate. Hard truth right in your face. Take it. Take it or, or leave. I am the least biased person of all time. I fucking love DJ LeMayhew. If he was on the Sox, I would throw a party. You know how many times I said over the offseason, I you love do. that guy. I love that guy. I love that, that guy. You do. That he you plays do. for the Yankees. I love him. I'm the least biased person of all time. We kept Sam Linton, and I am so happy. I am so happy because, and I will say this, regardless of if he would have stayed or if he would not have stayed, Sam Linton is by far, the most valuable of the all-day jerk-off crew. By far, it is not close. His UFC blogs are actually very good, and that takes a lot for me to say because I normally don't respect the opinion of people who don't wrestle that watch UFC. His UFC blogs are very good. That is very high. Very good. He is by far the most talented and most valuable of the all day jerk off crew. Easy. Hands down. So the fact that we kept him is a enormous win, in my opinion. You know why I like Sam? You know why I like Sam? Because he he's got a mind of his own. He didn't just he didn't just follow he didn't just follow his boys. He said, you know what? I still want to be here, so I'm gonna be here. That's, well in, I like that he's got a mind of his own. I don't want to say in fairness, but no, nah, I won't even like he would have been a lunatic to be the fourth wheel on a podcast instead of being like one of the main UFC writers yeah. that now has credentials through our site. Oh, he has credentials. Oh, I got him credentials. I made sure to get him credentials. So like, what does that mean exactly? He can go to UFC events. He can go to your, he can go to, yeah, I was going to say he's got and like, and like, okay. Okay. So, yeah. so is, so, so is Sam going to be like, so oh, fourth Thompson. wheel on a podcast. And I, I just unscribe unsubscribe today because obviously they're no longer part of the network. These guys are such big timers, right? They're such big timers, but last Gosh. video before, before I unsubscribed 20 views, 24 hours Oof. old. Yikes. Big time though. Big time, big time. Uh, Damn. yeah. So would you rather be fourth wheel on a podcast that gets 20 views an episode or big time UFC writer that has credentials that can go to events? Not credentials. I mean, yeah. Credentials. That's you that's watching big. the fight and yeah. you're writing and you're like building you on your go portfolio. To the press like, conference and I'm not even, I'm not even worried questions. about today. I'm not worried about today. I'm worried about three, four years down the line where I can fly Sam Linton out wherever he wants and he can swing his cock around and answer questions. <laughs> yeah. I'd love to be that's, in Vegas for that. That's great. So we kept Sam Linton. Big win. Very happy Big about dubs. that one. Big dubs. I mean, if we See? if we compare if we compared all these you know employees, uh, Sam Linton would be like you know a Garrett level employee. 
very good at what he does. Writes his blogs, good stuff. Manny Ruffin would be like, I mean, yikes. He would be like that Maximus guy I emailed or I interviewed today being like, <laughs> oh, what are you going to stream, buddy? Whatever I want. <laughs> worthless. Straight worthless. Manny Ruffin was so worthless. He didn't even have uh, his author page stuff sent into Scarlet. I mean, yikes. Damn shame. Yeah. Damn shame. But let me uh let me add let me add on to this since we're on the since we're on the uh the top. Oh, we're gonna I, play a game, but go ahead. We're gonna play a nice okay, game. Okay, I just wanna I just wanna when remember before when uh you were doing with the when okay, no, when you call them the all day jerk off crew or that's exactly that what they are. That yes, that is exactly what they are. Okay. So I just thought it was really funny. I was scrolling through my timeline. Um I still have I, I still have Alex on my timeline, right? So I go and he unfollowed me. Clip. So he I unfollowed you. Oh, yes, he did. So I I don't follow anybody that I follow, but whatever. Yeah, it's okay. He You're one of those. Got it. I don't no, follow kidding. anybody that doesn't follow me. Fuck that. <laughs> that is who true, the though. fuck is it? Is anybody else? No, I I, yeah, sure. I agree with that. I, I mean, my ratio is a little off, but. I'm just Trey has a very I'm positive ratio. The people that don't follow me, but anyway, <laughs> anyway, I, I go and I see that these guys now have T-shirts of that like Do gambling they? dude that they talk to all day on Twitter. They have T-shirts. They have T-shirts. As and like, I mean, I don't really know what what their partnership does. I mean, they don't. I, I don't get. Well, it. I I just don't get it. Dude. Well, well. Anthony, they have to make money somehow because well actually let's let's play the game. Let's play the game because let's play the origi- game. I'll, like I'll play like the game. here's the th- here's the thing about the game. I'm going to be very reasonable when it comes to this game. We're going to play a game of fair or foul. You're going to decide yes, what they did was very fair and you can defend them. Or you can say foul. What they did was foul and you can explain why it was foul. Don't see, and I'm going to be very reasonable with this game uh-huh. because I'm okay. not going to mention I'm not going to mention the fact that Alex's parents have to pay Tyler McGee to edit their videos. I'm not going to mention that fact. I'm going to be very fair about this game. I'm not okay. going to mention that fact. <laughs> I'm not going to mention that fact that Alex's parents have to pay Tyler McGee to edit their videos because their podcast doesn't make enough money, and I know their podcast doesn't make enough money because they were here last week. So I'm not going to mention stuff like that. I'm going to be fair with this game. Okay. I'm also not going to mention the fact that producer Alex specifically told me he, not to hire Tyler McGee. I'm not going to mention that fact. Oh, I'm going to make sure I I'm going to make sure I don't mention that fact. <laughs> okay, okay. So I'm going to be very fair with this game. Let's let's play the game. I'm also not going to not going to mention those things. Not going to mention. Them. <laughs> We're not going to go there. We're just not going to go. There. Not going to go there. <laughs> <laughs> not gonna go there. Uh so I, I this is a very long list, by the way. So I hope this show doesn't go too long. Uh fair or unfair? Missing persons report filed on Anthony Fontanello. <laughs> fair or foul? That was foul. That was totally that was foul. Of, that's so that's some, I mean that's some cheese. Jeez, toast time. Yes, that say it. Time toast time. Like that is so Incredibly foul. Incredibly foul. Missing persons report. Missing persons report. What do you like? Anthony, why don't you just get a new job so you can contribute? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, why don't I just yeah, sure. Why don't I just get a new job? Anthony, you don't want to actually fight me, right? You don't want to actually fight me, right? Isn't that what he said? That day? Bro, you don't actually want to fight me, right? Base yeah. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. Uh, that day. Oh, that I'm gonna day, have so much fun with this game. I'm gonna tell you, take you exactly through that day because I don't think I've Let's ever do it. actually. Let's like, do it. That's what I'm here for. I don't think I've Locked ever actually. Let's fire about, up like that day. So here we go. Okay. So that day, I'm I was at work and I'm seeing all like I'm seeing all this stuff. I I I, I don't know why. What possessed me while I'm at work? There was nothing going on at the time. I'm like just looking through YouTube. And I look through our videos and I'm like, all right, let me see what, let me see what uh, Alex and Adam are talking about. All I hear is my name brought up. I said, okay, 
why to where, where where is he well he was supposed to do this and do that and i go i'm looking at it i go oh okay i go right into the slack call this kid the fuck out like like a man i i i, I was i was livid so i called him out well i believe he guy. also called you out in the slack too right no did he i don't remember if he I called me so. out in the slack i think he did I, Maybe he did. Maybe he did. Because I know, well, I know I seen the video and that that's what made me respond was the video. And I go and see the video and that lit a fuse under me and I just went nuts on him. And whatever. He we're arguing we're back and forth. If he was saying some, I don't know, he was just being a real dick. Like he was being a, a, a little like spoiled douchebag. And like, honestly, that's exactly what he was being like. Mm. Then goes and tells me to get a new job. Mm -hmm. Get a new job. If you haven't noticed, COVID has shut down the world. That's why I don't have a job right out of college right now. That's the reason. Okay, that's why I'm work. That that's why I'm working a really hard eight to six job. You know. Well, speaking speaking of fair or foul, speaking of fair or foul, do you think it's fair or foul for them to constantly go on their show and be like, "This is our full time jobs. We're all in on this podcast. We uh, we have enough money to make it on our own for this podcast, even though." Uh, they don't uh well being that it's mommy and daddy's money that is so foul mm, i mean okay. oh I'm, I'm i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry they they cut grass and they caddy in the in the early morning well i don't my know what mistake. manny ruffin does but i know that's what floppy hair does yes my mistake my mistake they do something my mistake i think courtney's Regardless. loving this episode oh she is i was like I muted is. and choking a little bit but yes <laughs> so let me so let me continue through that. So then he tells so that's when he tells me to get a new job and I went off. I told him I told him right then and there, I don't I, I, I don't play these games. I don't I'm not gonna sit here and slack with you and argue. Uh you wanna talk to me, I'm gonna talk, I'm gonna come I'm gonna come to where you where you're at and we can talk in person. And my talking is gonna be not nice for you. So if you wanna continue, we can continue. And then that's that's when he kind of started to back off and he was started messaging uncle trey going is he is he gonna fight me like like just this kid really wants to fight me over this? and i'm like yeah i do yeah i do because you just decided to just throw my name all over the place without even talking hmm. to me so yeah you know what i do want to fight you then goes into this whole thing about oh you know blah 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 i was really just trying to um at like it was really to be at like jeremy rinaldi and not really at you <laughs> i just kind of had your name in there and oh I'm this like, is awesome not for nothing not i'm not really like whatever jeremy was doing that time jeremy was doing like he, he he can do whatever he does you know that's that's on him i don't care i was still doing my podcast weekly i still was doing something like i'm at work 10 hours a day what do you want me to do dude like first of all who the hell are you because you were an intern at the time still he was still an intern telling me telling me where am i well, wait can, can who the hell are you can can i this is another thing on my list uh while producer alex was an intern he specifically told me hey can i get an assistant for me do you think that's fair or foul that's so foul you're an intern what do you need an assistant for oh Okay. What do you need that for? What was he doing? Well, he, you know, assisting moving you, the, moving up in the world. Need, you know, he needed an assistant. I got a big list, so I just had to. That that one reminded me of one of the lists. So go, keep going. Go ahead. Okay. So, so yeah, then he then he messages me and starts backing off and all this stuff and blah 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 and whatever. We talked it out. It was it was fine at the end of the day, but. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna lie to you. I was ready to go out to Pennsylvania. I I, I, sw I swear to God, I was. I actually I actually texted uh, one of one of my one of my homeboys, and I was like, "Yo, listen, like, there's this thing going on. Whatever. Um, I know you you know Pennsylvania. So listen, here's what's gonna happen. If I go out there, you're coming with me." And he goes, "No doubt." And not oh, saying he would have done pull, anything. I would have pulled up a lawn just chair and there. started eating popcorn. Yeah, he wouldn't have done anything, but he would have just came <laughs> with me. I would have I would have pulled up a lawn chair. Be like, all right, let's see how this goes. Yeah. 
So that's what happened with that. And that and that goes that boils down to the fact of I don't like my name being thrown around when I'm not even talked to at first, especially mm. from an from an intern who just out of nowhere decided to get power hungry and just say whatever the hell. He's not power hungry though. He he's not power hungry. He's not power hungry. That's what he says. Okay. Okay. Yeah. He was hired to be your producer and then Correct. Took Correct. took that took that ball Correct. and ran with it, and started doing about every other thing, and doing what he was supposed to do for you. That's the that's almost the craziest part. People try to like reenact me. You can't do it. Stop trying to do it. It's not gonna work. Especially not while you're here. I mean, like that's just like. <laughs> well, there was a point in time I thought one of these people were gonna try to kill me. <laughs> Well, I mean, Garrett asked what was going to happen if I died. So, yeah, that was pretty crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, well, that's wild. <laughs> what would you happen if we? I, I, I don't know. I mean, we'd go. We'd be at your funeral. I don't think I'd be worried about what's happening with the site at that at yeah. that time. <laughs> but yeah. nah, Trey's a very healthy man. He he ain't going nowhere anytime soon. Yeah. Don't eat. Don't eat hot dogs. <laughs> you got like 10 plus years on you okay uh oh my god this sh- this show is gonna go so long i'm so sorry it's all right uh so fair or foul producer alex actually got kicked out of a phillies game but uh, <laughs> you told me this the other <laughs> night yeah but it's the phillies fault not his fault so at first the way he told the story i'm like yeah, I guess I see where you're coming from. And then the more I thought about it, it was like, what the fuck is wrong with you, man? So he wears a shirt with a curse word on it. I'm sure one of the cameras picked it up or maybe a kid saw it or something like that. Security guard went up to him. Hey, man, got to change your shirt. He threw a fucking attitude being like, shouldn't have let me in the stadium then. Oh, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wear it. Or, or actually, I think what happened is he turned it inside out. Then when the security guard walked away, he turned it re like the right side up. Security guard saw it, kicked him out of the stadium. So fair or foul? That's so that it's it's foul. You're just I mean, you're just being an asshole. You're you're in you're in the stadium. Whatever their policies are, you have to follow or you're gone. They could care less about the two hundred dollars that you will spend there. They 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 could really care less. And who thinks it's a good idea to wear a a curse word on a t-shirt to an MLB game. I mean, that guy. The, 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 well, yeah, clearly that guy. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you can't right, be normal and wear like a Phillies jersey or something. Like, I don't understand. Well, it was actually a Yankee shirt, but whatever. Okay, Yankee shirt, yeah. Okay. Um, Fair or foul? So, during our two and a half hour company meeting that got nowhere, he threw out the line that uh, we were using him for clout because his using- picture... Okay. Excuse me. Go, his go picture, on. his picture was on the uh, site redesign under the podcast page. But little does he know that you can only link one YouTube channel in the embed, so his thing would have been on there anyway. But according to uh, Floppy Hair, we were using him for clout for the site redesign. So is that fair or foul to you? How are we using him for clout? I don't. I. I. I don't understand. This is a yeah, question how are we for you. Using him for clout when the site's not even up. 20 views last episode before I unsubscribe. That's a, like what, what clout? I, I, I don't, this, I don't... this show has outviewed them a, like six weeks in a row. Easy. That's even while confused. he was producing it. Yeah. Like, that's what I'm confused here. Where, where's the clout? I don't just, you, you, you don't have any that we can get. I, 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 I don't get it. Correct. Correct. That's, that's a wild accusation. Um, Wild list, wild accusation, long list. Uh, during one of the NBA, uh, fair or foul, during one of, one of the NBA live streams, Jared Prosser was on. Yeah, you know, we were chatting it up, talking, whatever. And uh, I was like, Hey, producer Alex is on vacation. And he, you know, he's Jared Prosser is a great guy. He throws out a joke. He's like, Has producer Alex been here long enough to earn a vacation? Obvious joke, you know, kind of funny. Uh, Producer Alex decides to message Jared Prosser. A lot of curse words. Didn't like that. Very angry. Uh, Jared Prosser, you know, 
very nice guy. Didn't lose it on him. But, uh, you know, after he left, he had the words, uh, we're better off without him. And this is the same guy that went to bat for Dakota Haynes. So that kind of tells you where you need to know. So uh, fair or foul, what producer Alex said to Jared Prosser after he made a joke about how uh, he hasn't earned enough vacation time. Uh, foul based on the grounds of Captain Australia is such a great guy that he would never Fantastic say guy. anything in a malicious way. And Correct. just the fact that you can't pick that up, there's just something wrong Correct. with you. Correct. Mm-hmm. So foul. Next thing on my list. So yep. Uh, I wish Sophie Sargent was here. But uh, producer Alex thinks that Sophie Sargent sucks. Does not earn the GOAT title. Very overrated video editor. Fair or foul? Do I even have to say that that's foul? <laughs> I mean, really. Do I have no, to she's like the most she's like the, she's like the most irreplaceable employee we have. Sophie Hands got down. here when I got here, and immediately you could see how much better the videos got the second she walked in. Easy. Easy. She's the most irreplaceable employee we have. Hands down. She sucks, according to him. Okay, yeah, because yeah. he because he was better. I'm sure. I'm, I'm sure he thought that. <laughs> yep. Uh, next thing on my list. Uh, this was another message from Floppy here. He said Jackson Law should be on Survivor because he did not like the way uh, the Chick Fil A video was produced. He he didn't like the way the camera was being held, so he thought that Jackson Law should be on Survivor list for that. Did he go get some nuggets? Jackson. No. Ja- yes. Jackson. Yes, he, he said Law. Uh, Jackson Law. Law should be in. Yeah. Probably one of the hardest talk- working people that we have. Jeffrey. We're talking about the same. We're talking about the same. We're talking about the same. Talking about the same dude, right? Yes. Lives in Arkansas, Grizzlies fan. Yeah, that guy. Wife. Should have been on a survivor list. Adorable kid. Said. That guy. Yeah. That guy. Yep. Mm-hmm. Should be on survivor list. I I, I mean Again, do I even have to say that that's fine? But I'll say that that <laughs> I'm having fun. I'm having so much fun because I didn't get that. I is didn't, ridiculous. See, well, the last episode of Cheese, it got some asses and seats, but it didn't get to go over everything I wanted to. And I really thought about this and I put together this list. Oh, don't worry. This, this is might be both. This, this will do. This both. is going to be a long episode, but I hope it doesn't go too long. I hope let's let's hope. I hope I can wrap this up at the hour and a half mark. That would be great. Oh, we good. All right. We got time. It's only 8.30. We good. Uh, next thing on my list. So, producer Alex, eventually he got too big time. Uh, I, I, actually, that's not the words. He told me he doesn't have enough time to do this part. So, uh, as the responsibility for, you know, the producer of Cheese, he should be doing the clips and doing the post. Uh, he did one post of Cheese ever. One. One. I did all the one. posts for cheese, but that's almost not even the biggest problem. Eventually, it got to the point where he didn't have enough time. Uh, he was no longer going to do the clips for cheese. He passed that responsibility off to Mormondo and then took credit for doing the clips. Fair or foul? Oh, well, obviously, that's foul. You don't have someone else do your work mm. and take credit for it. And mm. to be mm. completely honest, mm. he was hired mm. to. To write, he was hired to do all the producing for the show. He was supposed to do the correct. Blogs. You correct. have enough to do. Correct. You're supposed to do the blogs. Correct. That's like when <laughs> hey, listen, when we did when we did toast time at first, I didn't even give Courtney the blogs, but she took it because she needed more hours, and I said, okay, well, go ahead, and she did great with it. So I was, I mean, I was happy that I didn't have to do the blogs, but I mean, listen, yeah, if that's what you're hired to do, that's what you do. I. You don't just sit there and don't do it, and then also you don't mm-hmm. take credit for some something else that someone did. He definitely well, he pat- pulled because yeah, I he had the whole time Ford, right? those clips from him was That's him doing that. Crazy, crazy. I'm having so much Got fun. Me. I'm having so much fun. This is the person I've been dealing with this whole time. Now I know. Now, <laughs> now it's not I know like you why. were having fun. Oh yeah, Trey, Trey's been. Having I tried really to take care of this kid as best I could. I really did. I really tried to take care of this kid. Really tried. Um, well, 
you know what? I don't know. Dude, you, like you, you can't, said, you can't do that. Oh, Come okay. On, go ahead. Yeah, go off. Let's go. <laughs> I definitely agree with the spoiled part because that's the vibes I'm getting after hearing all this. Like, mm. like entitled and spoiled. Mm, amen. That's it. That's that all, is. That's uh, all that. <laughs> Next thing on my list. Uh, so you know, he has the in-person recording because I made him have the in-person recording. Like I gave him that opportunity. I gave him Tyler McGee, who he he didn't want to hire, but I didn't want to bring that up. I I specifically won't bring that up on purpose. That he didn't want to hire Tyler McGee, but uh, he got Tyler McGee, and the only reason why he has in-person recording is because of Tyler McGee. But I won't bring that up. Uh, so. I had Manny Ruffin on the episode of Cheese one time, and I figured, hey, Trey's going to be a good guy. Let's take both of them out to lunch. Let's go to the gym, and then let's do the in-person recording, and then we'll just have it as an episode of Cheese. But uh, they sent me an excuse like, hey, let's do it on Zoom. Let's do it on Zoom. I kept pushing them about it. They're hiding something. Why don't they want to do the in-person recording of Cheese? Well, his response was, in-person recording is his thing so uh cheese not going to be in person recording and uh empire's finest can't be in person recording because that's his thing so fair or foul <laughs> i'm sorry i'm sorry he <laughs> are you having fun what's the bi- yeah yes i'm having a blast what uh, what is the what is the big deal what is the it's oh i don't know thing. And espe- especially thing. because his his lovely mother made me a piece of banana bread. So I wanted to like, hey, thank you for making me banana bread. I'd love to meet her in person. You know, we already go to the gym. Like, would love to meet the uh, the mom that birthed that kid. So figured, hey, let's do the in-person recording of Cheese while I had Manny Ruffin on the show. Nope, that's his thing. That is absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> that is insane. <laughs> Hey, yeah, oh, and, and I actually—I remember. I re- yeah, and I, I remember. <laughs> I remember. I remember the uh, when he He's said that off thing about the me reservation. Attitude. Off the reservation, fucking lunatic, nut job. I remember when he said that thing about me and Adam too. Oh, they can't do in-person content. That's his thing. They're gonna. They said we were gonna ask him for help. Why in God's green earth would I ask you for help? Well, because uh, uh, he didn't want to hire Tyler McGee, even though I won't mention that part. But uh, Tyler McGee does the multi-cam editing, so he obviously knows how to do it. Right? Hmm. Kid's got a a weird weird thing going on. Off the reservation. I'm I'm crazy, but I'm I'm controlled chaos. That guy, Mm. off the reservation. He's wildfire. It's <laughs> unbelievable. Uh, next thing on my list, uh, two and a half hour company meeting. He wasn't there for the entire part, though, because he stormed off like a five year old. He cursed at uh, the Chickster when we had this meeting, you know, a couple months ago about how uh, Chickster wrote a post about how that some cheese should have their own YouTube channel. Obvious joke because he started his own YouTube channel cursed at the chicks are left and right left and right left and right cursed at him wasn't having any of it even though he files missing persons report he's allowed to start things but if you start anything with producer alex can't do that um stormed off the company meeting like a five-year-old because he brought up the one point about how uh i forget what it was but jackson law messaged me something and i read it live on air and he lost it lost it so he held on to that this entire time and was like if you want to run the company like that, you go ahead. It's like, here's the part I quite don't understand. So he's there when I'm reading emails, like reading them live on air. He's there like when I'm saying what Wilcox did in the Slack. Like this whole show is about the company, but when it involves producer Alex, no go. So do you think that's fair or foul? First of all, he shouldn't be telling you how to run how to run your company. That's that's like that's the number one thing I got out of this. And also, if you're gonna if you're gonna dish out just like 
instigating and and then starting problems you should be able to take it to take it back when somebody comes at mm. you and i heard about this i heard about this meeting heard about this meeting i know exactly what happened i know exactly what he did slam mm. his computer shut i can't mm-hmm. take this shit i can't I'm take i died i died i died <laughs> oh i know i heard about this and for and mm-hmm. you know Al, mm-hmm. Chickster, Chickster is not not a not a guy that like you need to just go and start being all like try to be Mister Tough Guy on. Like you could like you could have a a very you know grown up debate with Chickster. Mm-hmm. He's not he he's not a hothead at all. He's not. Gonna, he's a father. Like, that too. <laughs> I mean, he's a dad. He's dad. He's, yeah. he's daddy chick. I mean, come on. Yeah. All right, and next also, thing on my list. Also, oh, go ahead. Go another ahead. thing. If my man Jackson Law messages you anything and you want to read it on air, you can damn well do so. You can read anything you want on air because it's your show and it's your company. You can do whatever the hell you want. I like that approach. I like that approach, Montanella. What did you say the other day? You you only answer to me. Oh, I yeah, I only answer to Trey. I don't answer to <laughs> Yeah. Love that. Love that journey for Trey. Damn, that's you watch that show, show Shits Creek. It's a good show. No, no, I gotta what is what's it on? Netflix. You can watch it. Oh, okay. I love it's that journey Netflix. for you. Yeah. I'll take a, a good one. I'll, I'll take a peek. So you got it. Uh the last episode that producer Alex was actually here for, it was a Carl Heiser episode. Uh after the episode. Carl Heiser, you know, just genuinely curious, like asking producer Alex, like, hey, what's your goals? Like, what do you want to try to do and stuff like that? Producer Alex, you know, kind of responding and he has the comments. Well, I'm here for now. Uh, Which pissed me off because I paid for his flight ticket to Vegas. I paid for the Airbnb so we had a free place to stay. I paid for the kid's gym membership. I drive 40 minutes out of the way just so I can lift with the kid. I took the kid out to lunch, paid for that. So I did all these things for, uh, I gave him, you know, Courtney Plummer to edit his audio, uh, Tyler McGee to edit his videos just here for now. So do you think those comments were fair or foul? That's so foul. That's, that's just that, that shit. You don't say, you don't say that. To the guy, to the guy that's literally spending all like money on you, all these different mm. things, and mm. you know, you mm. don't do that. That that's just fucked up. You know, you, you know what that's called being very unappreciative. You know who's, you know what type of people are unappreciative, entitled, spoiled douche, douchebags. Those are the so type did, people so that so like. Do you think like I did too much for the kid? Not enough for the kid? Should I have done no, no, more for the much. kid? Way too much. Way too much. Way too much. Oh. Okay. Way too much. Way too much. Try to be a nice guy. Try no, to be a nice I, guy. I know you. You're a very nice guy. Like I like 100 percent way too much. But you were trying to be. You you, you were being. Courtney nice says guy. I'm misunderstood. You are misunderstood. I you believe are. that. <laughs> you are. I agree. <sighs> Man. Uh, next thing on my list. So uh, they tried to pull this little maneuver don't quite believe their response but uh they tried to steal creek's corner and didn't tell me have you heard this story i have heard i i've I've heard the creek's corner story yeah so uh they wanted creek's corner to either be their producer or do i don't know whatever didn't tell me about it so uh do you think that's fair or foul to not only not loop me into the discussions but also to think they have the authority to steal one of my employees it's totally foul. They need it. Mm. You should have. You should have been included mm. in the discussion mm. from from the get. From the get. Didn't think I would care. Didn't think you would care. That was the response. Yes. I I I'm, I think you would care. Being that, I mean, Creek, mm. Creek's Creek's corner has been, you know, top top guy. Yeah. Top guy. So didn't think I would care. Craig's been top guy. Mm hmm. And they just did. Craig's Corner is such a nice guy. I told that guy, take a shot for me at the wedding. He literally sent me a video taking a shot for me. That's the guy that I want on my side. 
Craig's cool. Yeah, Craig's a great guy. Let me tell you. Oh, fantastic. Love great that. man. Didn't think I would care though. Didn't think I would care. No, of course not. Of course not. Of course not. Which, which, which Krieg is here because of me. Just saying. Well, Craig's also here because I created a company that he loves and believes in. True. 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 That is true. Yes. I mean, actually, true. it started. It started with the relationship of me with you and the company, and true. my school. My school doing a doing a whole like article about me and what what's her name again what's her name again brianna brianna yeah yes i i need to talk with her we need to we need her me and her need to have a chat she sent you two very <laughs> you've got two very good interns from her let me tell you <laughs> <laughs> yes i did I would, I would be willing, i said i'd be willing to give a speech at the school i set it up you should i think you should yeah we should i'm down for that we should totally do it you can be my teachers yes. we yes we could do that let's do it i'm 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 well i'm actually well liked there surprisingly trey's not always well liked but as courtney says, oh no trey's you'll be you'll be trey you'll trey's be, very misunderstood well so that's the line i'm going with you'll be on. you'll be well liked if if you'll trey's be, an if asshole if Trey's an asshole in certain situations, I'm just gonna say Courtney says that I'm very misunderstood. <laughs> I'm, no, I no, no, right don't bring me way. into it. Well, you, well, you're actually my assistant, so you would actually have the most authority to say that. So, okay, I'm just kidding. okay. So, uh, this is the next thing on my list. When they were officially, you know, I met with them for the last time. I was going to fire the kid if he didn't immediately apologize to me with, you know, something like not just like, hey, I'm sorry. It had to be like, hey, I'm sorry for being a big cock. Uh, his one request and his only one request when he qu quit was he wanted all of the all day content deleted from the site. Now, I don't know why that's your one request, but is what it is in my head personally. Uh, I would want extra content any way I can get it so that, hey, someone, you know, this this site gets really big. Oh, oh this show was a part of it. What happened? Let me go find it. Uh, it's also part of our YouTube channel. Uh, so, you know, anybody could go watch it. Those are also now deleted. So fair or foul that, you know, I guess, hey, he has the option to do this, but all all day content deleted from the site. I don't know about fair or foul. I think it's just stupid. Yeah, that's not fair. Yeah, that's that's probably the right answer for this one. It's just correct. it's just more stupid. Yeah. Now I, I can sit here and try to think of like what his reasoning was behind it. And I, I and I kind of have been, an idea. I have an idea. What's that? I have an idea. Because the craziest well, part is some some of the videos videos. on the YouTube channel they correspond to his episode. So now those yes. videos that like go to his episodes are gone. They're all gone. All gone. That's what he wanted. So he just got, he wanted he, just, a, he wanted everything deleted, so I deleted it. He's got They're a gone. bunch of dead links. Just got a bunch of dead links. What I was gonna say is, I think I know why. Mm -hmm. Let's hear. It. Well, because I'd love to. Very, know. very clearly, we're stealing his cloud. Yeah. That's what I was just to say. That's what no, that that's there's no way that you, you think that's that's what is in his head. There's no way. Absolutely. Hundred percent. There's oh no. Oh my other, god. There's no. There's literally no other reason other than he doesn't want us to steal his cloud. That. You know what? I mean. Because I'll tell you right now. I really haven't been able to figure it out. I really can't. I'll tell, for the life I'll of tell me. you right now. Let's say because it's just I borderline was, fucking stupid. It is no. If I was in his situation, if I was in his shoes. You I would have just would, taken the free vacation and just been a rational human being. I would have done well. Yes, I would have done that too. But also, I would. You would have taken the free. You would have taken the free gym membership, right? Absolutely, I would have taken the free gym <laughs> membership. I actually, I actually want to change gym memberships right now. It's just everyone's expensive. <laughs> no, that's what you would have done. You would have I mean, taken the, the free done. four uh, four months of or no five months free gym membership, uh, free vacation to Vegas. That's probably what you would have done. But that's not the path he went down no not at all not mm -hmm. at all also i i would all i would want all my podcast episodes 
and my name to still be within anywhere the like I literally anywhere I, I wanted that I would want it on as many places as possible so that more people can see it I mean why why not like why not not for nothing but you you put in all that time and effort into making them and yeah. they're just and, all, and here's the craziest part and here's the craziest part all of the vid all of the videos that were previously done that are on his YouTube channel have our fucking watermark on them anyway. It has the V in the corner. Oh, does it? Ah, oh, shucks. Mm, my so lawyer would what's have, he going to do? My, my, my lawyer would all have of those? Like He's going to delete I mean, all those videos too? I mean, he like, just no. might. You know, he time on his hands. he's going to have, he, well, he's no, gonna he have to actually. Crazy. Fucking, I, sh <laughs> I should say that. Hey, hey, you guys don't want any of the uh, Vendetta stuff on there. You might as well delete all of the videos because it has our logo in them. So you may as well delete all of the videos. They're going to have to. I mean, if I talk <laughs> to my lawyer, he would be like, well, they can't do that. They'll have to like also the delete the go back and or find some way and delete the part where he's like, oh, we're associated with Vendetta Media. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He would have to delete, delete all of the videos. So he, this would be episode one. That is of, that is not true. That is not true. Now he cannot cannot say that anymore. Wow, crazy, crazy. It's damn shame. Damn shame. Next thing on my list, uh, Manny Ruffin. I, I've mentioned this a couple times, but you're here now, so I have to do it again. Uh, Manny Ruffin said a quite the rude comment to Courtney Plummer, who. Uh, what did Manny edits. say to Corny? Corny, what did he say to you? He said, um, yo, you need to get with me about the show pretty much. But it was like, I've never talked to him before. So there was like, no, hey, like, hey, how you doing? Or just a hey. It was just like, yo, you need to get with me about the show pretty much. Fair enough. Uh, I, I, I don't like that one bit. Mm. It was like I, nothing. Speak. Just keep in mind that producer Alex was hired to edit audio. He doesn't have time to edit the audio for his show, so he needed Courtney Plummer to do it. It's his. It's his show. He should edit the audio. And also, I wish that I honestly wish that kid was still on the Slack because I would go and curse him out right now. Mm. You don't talk. To, you don't talk to Courtney like that. Mm. It was like mm. nothing to edit because he knew what needed to be edited. So, like you said, he could have just easily did it. Mm. But he that's, probably wants to feel like big time. I love this game. He has a crew. Of course, he wants to game. feel big time. That's complete. That's completely. That's completely unacceptable. And that wouldn't. That wouldn't fly. That wouldn't fly. And speaking of speaking of which, Courtney Plummer works for this company, not whatever the fuck jerk off crew is. No. Uh, what do we got here? Should this one, you know, he's like, oh, for 30, but this one you might actually give him credit for. Okay. There's only one thing on the list. I was trying to be fair. I was trying to be fair. There's one thing on the list. You might have to give him credit for. He was offered a chance to be on payroll. He turned it down because he didn't feel like he did enough things for this company to earn a paycheck. Okay. I guess that's actually pretty fair of him to be honest wow he got one yeah, he got uh, one uh, i like, i wrote down this isn't, like, everything yeah, trey is it, a man of honor and integrity i wrote down everything believe me i try to be as unbiased as i possibly can be always clearly clearly this has just been a uh i don't even know what we would call this the uh the all day the all day jerk off crew uh <laughs> rant off i don't know what i don't know what we would call this but this will be I'm, the last I'm, time I, we do this this will be the last time we do this of course, I, of course, I wasn't yeah. done last time i wasn't done it and arv hasn't done. been here arv was a great guest he hasn't been here long enough to dive into all this stuff yeah 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 i get i got you i got you yeah but see I this will be the last time that. we talk that's, about him that's until that's i go to actually, vegas and i take a picture of some random guy but yeah this will be the last time that's actually a noble thing of him. I'll give him credit for that. That actually yep. is very noble. Yep, thing. he got one. He got one. 
Absolutely. That, yeah, that that that's pretty noble of him. I'll I'll, I'll give him that. Yep. Uh, fair or foul? Brian Tan was going to be the snake of Vendetta Sports Media. He was going to take this company down. I'm guessing Floppy already said that. Yes, correct. Okay, so foul because Brian Brian Tan, Tan is literally the most like he's the most awesome guy we got. Uh, in turn, he's the most like he's one of the most like Vendetta like just guys we got. He's he's right. He was going to be the snake. With, Brian Tan. He's rider. Okay. Tan is ride or die with this company. Yeah. Okay. It's funny how all this kid did was call out and deflect and distract everyone. Try to distract everyone from what the truth was. And the truth was he was the Judas of the group. That's what Jackson Law calls him. Or did call him. That's that's fair. He is definitely the <laughs> Uh, all right, next thing on my list. Uh, this is going to be too long of a show. I'm so sorry. Uh, next thing on my list. So we had that two and a half hour company meeting. It was understood at the end of the two and a half hour meeting because Manny Ruffin was still there. He was still there, you know, talking and, you know, chatting it up. Uh, it was understood that the clips and the blog for the all day jerk off show would get done. They would get sent over to the site so that the clips would go on our YouTube channel or they'd be shared on social or whatever, and the blog for his show would get done. At the two-and-a-half-hour meeting, it was understood those two things would happen. At minimum, they released an episode, no clips, no blog. Golf video, no clips, no blog. Another show, no clips, no blog. Then they quit. Wait. So they just blatantly blatantly mm-hmm. just said fuck it we're not doing any of this mm-hmm. and then just and then just dipped well fair or foul you know maybe like hey put like part of the vendetta sports podcast network or you know i have uh interns meeting with me at the end of the semester being like you know you guys want to stay what are your plans for when you go back to school uh, yada yada vivic said i didn't even know they're part of the site max murphy said i didn't know manny ruffin was even an employee here wow Wow, that's right. You want to talk about how alienated they made themselves? Correct. Is Courtney Plummer having Super a fun cow. episode? Is, is Courtney having fun doing this? Oh, I know Courtney's having a great time. Yeah. I'm just in my mind like, dang, like this is a lot. That's crazy. You weren't lying about the list. He got one, though. He got one. He, he did, did get one. He did get one. Got Turning one. down the paycheck, I'll, I will give him. Very noble. Mm-hmm. He got one. Uh, next thing on my list. So this one dates back a little bit. Uh, Manny Ruffin came on that episode of She's, you know, the one that like in-person thing, that's their thing. So we Not did bad, it over yeah. Zoom. Did it over Zoom. And uh, for whatever reason, they make this big deal out of one of the takes I have. I don't know why, because, you know, anytime that somebody questions me, 99% of the time you're going to lose. But, you know, they they have this, oh, my God, how could you think this? I think Michael Gallup is better than Terry McLaurin. I don't know how you feel, Fontanelle. You can ju- you can step in. Do you think it's outrageous? Not outrageous? I I I went to I think I went to war with you a little bit during the NFL season about not That's specifically fun. Gallup versus McLaurin. I will actually say Gallup is better than McLaurin, but we went to war about Ooh. like about is about Terry McLaurin. We okay, did. fair we enough. Did. I still I, I love love I love Scary Terry. I really like him, but so you think you think Gallup's better? Calling spade a spade, Gallup is Gallup is a better receiver. Okay, interesting. So, uh, you know, for whatever reason, they think that take is crazy. Uh, Manny Ruffin came on the show and it was like, "Geez, I don't know. Maybe you have a point. I think McLaurin's better." That was kind of his tone, something like that. They released a clip, uh, the last show that like. They did before like quitting. It was like Manny Ruffin had a clip and it was like, if you think Michael Gallup's better than Terry McLaurin, I'm going to curse you out. Even though he was on my show, had a much please, different attitude. Please tell, please tell me you released the, the counter clip for that. No, I, I, I watched like half the show. I couldn't find it. I, oh. I was a busy guy. I, 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 I'm, oh. I'm going to have to go through it eventually. I'll have to go through it eventually. I almost don't even want to give them that attention, but – 
I mean, I understand much, I understand. much different attitude. I mean, you want to talk about an all time pussy move. That might be the biggest pussy move in the history of this company. I mean, listen, if actually you- it's not because they're not part of the company, but no, they're not might be the biggest pussy move. Maybe ever. You can disagree with Trey. I, I, I disagree Correct. with Trey all the time. We sit Correct. here and we have debates all the time. Correct. I don't have to agree with everything that he says. And most of the Correct. time, I don't. don't. I, I, most of the time, we have differing opinions on a lot of things. And so, then you end up being wrong. But that's another story. Eh, not as much as you think. Okay. <laughs> you can believe that. That's okay. <laughs> not the point. Not the point. Not the point. The point, the point is, is that's not we're going here. You come on a here. show, have a differing opinion, being like, yeah. eh, maybe, I don't know. And then you go on your own show and be like, I'm going to curse you out. I can promise you I'll have to go I can find it. He didn't say one fucking curse word during it. Not one. Biggest move of all time. <laughs> Ever. 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 Absolutely. That's the kind of guy that guy is. Woo! That's him. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Fair or foul? Oh, totally foul. That's just, I mean, that that's just dumb. Like, that's just not, not dumb. Soft, soft, pathetic, embarrassing, sad, fucking worthless. That guy was worthless. Big time, big time worthless. Fair foul. Manny Ruffin asked me for a WordPress account because he was going to do articles. Guess how many articles he got them? I'm going to go on a limb and say 10. Zero blocks. Ask for a WordPress Zero. account. Zero. Zero. Blocks. Zero. Fair foul. Well, that's foul. Why would he make you go through the trouble of giving him an account? Correct. And then he doesn't even do one. Doesn't Correct. do one. Correct. That's just like, are you are you like a crack addict with that jewel, huh? You like, would you yeah, you and Creeks Corner that. fucking itching all over the place. I gotta hit my jewel. Creeks Corner is way worse than me, to be quite. I honest. know, I know. He does it in the gym while working out. That Psychopath. I couldn't believe. That I couldn't believe. <laughs> Psychopath. I'm gonna. Oh, although cre- cre- credit to Creeks Corner, I don't know if it's an as an itchy moment as Kane Lander yesterday. That guy was itching to play split gate. He was itching all over the place. He really, <laughs> he really wanted to get after split gate, man. He really wanted to get after it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna. I, I know I gotta stop that soon, but uh, this might be a two-hour episode. I'm. I still got things on my list. I am so sorry. How much more we got to go through? I mean, I don't care. It's fine. It's a matter of if people are going to watch it, you know? It gets too long. I'm trying. I guess I got to keep going. All right. Uh, next, going. next, fair, fair or foul, they created their own YouTube channel. Uh, Jackson Law and a, a lot of other people obviously had a problem with it, but would you consider it a fair or foul movie? Uh, it's, come on, man. That's so, that's completely foul. That's ridiculous. Okay. okay. Every show can every show needs their own Twitter account, needs their own socials. Absolutely. You do not go and make your own separate YouTube. That I actually didn't necessarily have ridiculous. a problem with it, although I didn't think the timing on it was right. Until we have a thousand subs on our YouTube channel, I don't think any show should have their own. Once I like once a show has their own, you know, following, like a big following. Sure, go have your own YouTube channel. Like once you know, like once the shows are actually under contract and shit. Sure, you can ha- yeah, make that happen. Do whatever, do whatever, yeah. do whatever you want at that point. Yeah. But you don't go and make your own make your own channel when when it's not creating revenue. Yet. When it's not creating revenue. No, it just makes you look like a dick. Yeah. Uh, how about Fair or Foul, their own Twitch channel? Um, uh, same premise, Foul. We're trying to build up. We're trying to build up the Twitch, and they just make their own. Yeah, totally. Fine. Uh, I I kind of want Courtney to be here for this one, so I'll skip around a little bit. Okay. Okay. Um, fair or foul? Uh, Kane Lander actually got upset about this one. So Kane Lander okay. offered, 
because, you know, he's struggling to find some ad deals, which is cool. Uh, he wanted to, you know, put some hours into their show. Friendly courtesy, like trying to do them a favor. He was going to try to book guests for them. So he was going to reach out to all these like people, you know, big high followings or whatever, and try to get them guests. Uh, Floppy Hair did not like that. He only wants specific guests for his show. He what turned down. Specific guests does he want? He turned down all of the recommendations for uh, Kane Landerhead. Can I get? Can I? Can I get some? Did you do you know some of the recommendations? Uh, you know, like the some, high, didn't, didn't, well, well, like basically, basically, I shifted them over to Tan Show. So all the guests that Tan has had, minus Josh Taylor, uh, a lot of gaming people and shit like that. Uh, so all the guests that Tan has had would have went to producer Alex, but mm. didn't want those guests. Mm. Fair enough. I don't even know if it's fair. That's just hurting yourself, but I'll call it foul. This is being an idiot. Like that's, that's, that's so that's, that's foul. That's really, that's just terrible. Honestly. And every person that we got had a following. So he missed out. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Uh, I don't even have to go over the Vegas stuff. Why not to take it? Buying the kid launch, I already did that stuff. We, uh, we went over that. Yeah, uh, fair or foul. So of course he was hired to be my assistant. You know, produce shows and shit. You know. Yeah. Uh, but eventually he got too big time. He, there was a clip out there. He's cursing out a storm at the golf uh, course. He's <laughs> done holding a camera. I'm so done holding a camera. He, he expected people to message him. So that they could hold the camera for him. And that he expected all the people messaging him that they lived across the street for him so that they could hold the camera for him. So You're do you talking think about that's while he was doing while he was doing the golf thing? Yes, he's uh he's done holding a camera. Done holding a camera. Try to try just actually stop, actually stop for- that, those those are the wrong words. I'm fucking done holding a camera. The words. Then, then don't, then don't do the golf. Then don't do the golf videos. They're your videos. Who the hell is going to venture out there to a, to a course in Pennsylvania to hold a camera? He expects you? people to message him to ask if they can hold the camera for him at the golf course. If I was at the court at the golf course, mm-hmm. and I had somebody like this kid ask me to hold the camera while we're playing around, mm-hmm. I would take his camera and throw it into the pond. There's no way. Listen, I struggle enough with my golf game. Now I got to worry about holding your stupid camera. Mm. I'm actually yeah. almost done with the list. I only got a couple more things. What's the thing that uh, you said you wanted Courtney to be here for? Oh, this is funny. So, uh, obviously, Monkey Knife Fight, one of our sponsors. Uh, oh, Manny man. Ruffin had made sure to ask me or not to ask me, to uh, pretty much say they deserved the monkey knife fight money. They deserved the monkey... Whoa, 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 Hold on, hold on. Okay, okay, finish, 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 finish. They deserved the monkey knife fight money because they were one of the only podcasts to shout them out in every single show, and they were responsible for the signups. That's so big bold of them to ask. Excuse me. Excuse me. They they Court- they were they were responsible for the signups because they believed they had enough views to the point where they were convinced they were responsible for the signups. Okay. Okay. How many signups did they think that they got? This is the best part. Guess how many – and I, I don't want to reveal how much money we get for the signups because I don't think that's – No, necessary. don't tell me that. Just tell me how many signups we got. Guess how many signups we got for the month of July. The month of July. I'd go with – Now, keep in mind, they they think they deserve this money because they were responsible. 15, 15, 20. Courtney, what's your guess? Like 20. Two. Mm. So I don't know. I have to go and get the list of who was who it was, but uh, they think they were responsible for maybe those two people. 
Not only. <laughs> not, uh, you, 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 he, he knew I was going to have. Okay, this is why you wanted Courtney to be here because she. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. But this is so that they don't watch, to, Yeah. The, they don't watch the, the, second, the second that we got monkey. Yeah, they clearly don't watch anybody else's <laughs> podcast because the second monkey knife fight deal got done, I literally added, added the, the monkey knife fight monkey bread. Uh, segment of the podcast to specifically talk about monkey knife <laughs> fight plays. That was my whole. That was hold on, no. hold on, no. They think they deserve the money on two signups. On two signups, I literally in person, I had five or six people on my own. I got to sign up. That was me. I got five or six people on my own to sign up for it. <laughs> they deserve that the okay. delusion they, they deserve the two signups because they believe they must have gotten signups because people watch their show that's ridiculous because I know for a fact that <laughs> I pushed monkey knife fight and I didn't say a single word about any of that money I, I know I pushed it. I I got people to sign up for it. I got like my gambling friends to sign up for it, and they love it. And they put hey, they use it. All hold the on a second. They deserve, they deserve that, that money. money. Yeah, they yeah. deserve it for the two right. signups. I don't yeah, even know if they were signups. responsible for them, but they must have been. Yeah, I got it. I got at least like like five or six signups. And they're talking about two fucking signups. That's unreal. Well, I don't know if they. I don't know if they they were their signups. But they they thought they deserved the money because, you know, they had to have gotten. Them. But I actually looked and there was only two. Yeah. So. But like, I don't know if they, they were their signups. I I don't know. Where are their metrics? Like like uh, they just they don't they don't have they anything. Made. They just figured that they have enough views, so people had to have done it. That was their that was their metric. <laughs> this is killing me. I love this. this is oh, crazy. it's funny. This is funny. this is hysterical. I love it. They clearly didn't. They they clearly didn't watch anyone else's podcast. He wants to go and put a missing persons report out on me, but says that nobody else said anything from Monkey Knife Fight. I literally had a whole segment. Delusional, off the reservation, big time softies. Whatever words you want to use, that's what they are. They got one though. They got one. They got Unreal. one. Unreal. Unreal. Uh, a couple more things on the list. Uh, this is one's more of an ego thing, but uh, producer Alex had the audacity to compare himself. Well, he was doing a segment, you know, Giannis won the NBA Finals. Uh, he then transitioned it over to, well, it's nice to, uh, you know, look at Giannis winning an NBA championship and saying like, oh, look at the recognition he's now getting. He then transitioned that into, you know, I kind of feel like Giannis as a podcast host because I'm finally getting the the recognition that I deserve. That's that's uh, one of the lines he had in the show. So uh, fair or foul, uh, floppy hair is the Giannis of podcasting. Foul. Has he even gotten foul. like 200 views on an episode before? Uh, they did have one big episode. It was a guest uh, – that one of the gambling guys, you know, they, whenever they had their guests on, they had a couple yeah. big episodes, but that was it. Yeah. When when it's just them, nobody watches. But when they had I mean, guests, the, on, I mean, the fact that they had 24 view, 20, 20 views in 24 hours, um, I mean, all I all I have to do is say I had a big announcement, and I, um, I think I more than doubled their views in Empire's Finest. But sure, yeah, and my show is only seven weeks old. But yeah, no, they they are the Giannis, the Giannis. Of podcast. They are the Giannis of podcast. I'm just I'm just saying, my show is literally like six or seven weeks old. It's pretty new. Here's the craziest they, part: nobody's getting any views compared to like a Joe Rogan or an Alex Cooper or like no. Until you're fucking five hundred thousand views an episode, you are nothing in the podcast game, and I mean nothing. No, you actually are literally nothing. Nothing. Like, in, until you're, like, hitting, like, millions of views, you can't even make money off of just podcasting. Like, just podcasting. 
not like part of a media company. You're on yeah. your own. You're just podcasting. It's gotta be like five hundred thousand an episode on at like least. video and audio. Yeah, at least. Yeah. Giannis. 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 NBA Finals MVP. Yeah. Two time. Two time MVP. Yeah. Of the podcast game. Recognition. Yep. Foul. <laughs> uh, let's see. I only got two more, actually. Okay, let's do it. Uh, they wanted to fire Christian Lathrop because he wasn't doing right. his job. They wanted to fire Christian Lathrop. Keep in mind, Christian Lathrop is no longer here, but uh, was a Vendetta Sports Media employee. Do you think they have the authority to fire Christian Lathrop? Keep in mind... Christian Lathrop was going to get them Andrew Marchand of the New York Post as a guest. They fucked that up because they wanted to fire Christian Lathrop. So Andrew Marchand did not make an appearance on their show because uh, that was Lathrop's guest. And obviously they wanted to fire him. So they fucked that one up too. So uh, okay, okay. do you think – you... actually... so, First off, foul. But uh, I want to actually know like what happened with this. So – so the throw pad Martian, and then yep. did you? And then you told him that they. I told to fire him, him that they wanted to fire him because. And then he goes, and then he goes, and then because, he goes. Oh fuck these guys! You're not getting Martian because now. because because, fuck those guys! They weren't getting Martian the way they were acting. That's why I told him. What did they act like? I want to know. I want to know. They were. They were. I'm, I'm guessing well, how, how, we've yeah. gone over the list. How do you think they've been acting? Oh, That's why they were they getting thought, They thought they were the absolute shit. Yeah, they, I was going to say they thought they were too big. <laughs> so they didn't get fumbled, Martian. Fumbled the bag. Fumbled yeah. the bag. Yeah. Unreal. Mm -hmm. Unreal. But do you think they had the authority to fire Christian Lathrop? Oh, no, absolutely not. They don't have no. the authority to do jack shit. Hmm. Mm. Mm. All right, last thing. Why did they want to? Why did they want to fire him for what? Well, he was a busy guy. Uh, he, I don't know, wanted to fire him. I mean, was Christian Lithrope perfect? No, because Tan got rid of him. But yeah. I mean, he's helping. He was there. He was going to get him a big guest. And they wanted a five. That's great. Yep. That's awesome. And you you want to know what would have happened? They would have wanted to fire Creek's Corner too, or they would have wanted to fire whoever, you know, whoever I whoever I gave them. They would have wanted to fire them too eventually. I don't. I love the bat, by the way. I used to work for the this, Iron Pigs. I have a shit ton of bats. I should have yeah. one on my shoulder. This this was my. We'll go a little side tangent here. This was my bat in the 13-year-old league when we won the Yonker City uh, championship. Did you have a beard I at batted. that time? It was coming in. Okay. I, I was 13 years old. Yeah, it was coming in. I batted I, I batted like 660 that year. Love it. Yeah. Love it. That was a, that was a very All good right. year. Very this good is good the year. last thing on the list. This is the last thing. I probably forgot a couple things, but we've gone long enough. Last thing on the list. Fair or foul? Do you think it was fair or foul for uh, Courtney Plummer to edit their audio? Not really Courtney's job. I mean, if she wanted to do that, that's up to her. But Courtney, any words? Courtney, you didn't want to. Did, did you want to um, do that or did you not want to do that? Okay, so I'm going to say foul because he's an audio producer. So, like... You could have easily just did your own. He's batting one one for a thousand at this point. <laughs> I wanted I I, I, I was gonna say that. foul, but I I wanted I wanted Courtney to answer. This would have been so by the way. I wanted Sam Litton on this show. This would have been electric to watch <laughs> to watch Sam Litton defend his childhood friend. This would have been electric to have Sam Litton defend his childhood friend, but unfortunately. Uh, his first day of school was today, so he. Uh, yeah, that's all. 
Yeah, but it would have been electric to have Sam Linton try to defend his childhood friend on all this. But we had Anthony Fontanello here instead, and that was okay. Mm-hmm. It's all good. Do you think Sam Linton would have had a different response to any of these? I He would have had to. I mean, I I'm think not, so. I, I'm not gonna probably lie. Be like, what well, is just how he is? Or... <laughs> yeah, yes, exactly. Something like that. Because he knows yes, how he exactly, is. So. Exactly. He would have been like, oh, that's just him. That's some cheese right there. <laughs> and on that note, uh, make sure to follow. We're done. Make sure to follow Anthony Fontanello and underscore font one. I remembered. Got a good memory. Plumber Courtney, even though I'm not going to expose her. But it's Plumber Courtney. Uh, myself, Trey Dalbert. Whenever we hire a couple of social people, we'll figure out the clips for the shows and whatnot. I had to get rid of the old ones because I didn't trust Floppy Hair. Figured he'd post something stupid. So, All right, that's going to do it. Make sure to subscribe on YouTube. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>